Okay, so we're... Welcome everyone, this is Melissa with the Stocks Were Show Live. And I have a guest here this evening, this is Giles, welcome. Thank you. And you are... You're welcome, and you're from Australia. I'm here to find out what is short. Yes, and as you know, many of you that are watching already live in Australia and are shorting stocks every, every day. So it's so great to have a new Aussie here with me tonight. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you, Giles, because this is interesting in the market, the US stock market, as you know that I love it, and I love the short. So we're going to talk about, we're in a French restaurant, we're actually in France right now, as many of you know, I'm in France, but we have this night, and I'm going to bet, Giles, that the knife that so, looks yeah, like it's, it's it looks like it's silver, but actually, I'm gonna bet that this knife is actually gonna go down in value. I'm gonna bet that there's gonna be. It's What's going to happen is in this restaurant, there's going to be an overage of knives. There's going to be like so many knives and they like just can't give them away. So then what happens is I was not open, sorry. he thinks that they're going to really want the knives. That there's going to be too many, like you can't even, you would really need the knives. Like all the people are going to order steaks. They're going to order the steaks and everyone's going to want a knife. And I'm saying, no, 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 no. Nobody, nobody wants steak. steak. We're in France. This is something like they want to order cheese and chocolate mousse. So I, I know that. I know that about France and everything. So, because I know that, I know they don't need the knives. So, so I think there's going to be... So you think this, it's going to be saturated with knives, too many knives. And I think it's going to be a scarce, or you think it's going to be scarce? No, I'm saying... I think it's saturated, you think it's scarce. I'm... Yes. Okay. Exactly, okay. So then what happens is we make the bed. So you're, you're we're actually betting of the on my scarcity, up. or whatever you want to call it. Now remember, we're going to do this in correlation to the explain what short is. So, I'm not actually just saying anything. This is not really just saying anything at all. It doesn't even matter. But the point I'm trying to make is that we make a bet. So let's like put the cost of the knife. The cost of the knife is what? What do you want to make it? Let's go 10 euros. No, it has to be US dollars because we're trading in the US market. Okay, 12 US dollars. There we go. Okay, now we have a price. We set the price. I'm shorting that thing. I take 5,000 shares of that at $12. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to teach you something else. What's 5 times 12? 5 times 12 is what? 5 times 12. I don't know, you tell me. No, it's 60, 60, okay? 5 times 12 is 60. So if I took 5,000 shares of that, at $12, I need $60,000 in buying power in my brokerage account to take that position. Your bag is a friend. Your bag is a friend. Actually, it probably takes like 600,000 shares of that or something. But anyways, let's get back to the show. So, that's what you need. You need 60,000 thousand dollars in buying power with the broker to take that position short. Okay. So say you got it. You, and oh no, I have it. And then I take it. And you say, no, no, no. I believe the opposite of Melissa. I'm, which, I think it's going up. Yes. You think there's no way. And here's the one thing that I say. I always say, listen to every single thing I say. Always do exactly what I tell you. Well, Giles just met me yesterday, so he didn't do what I told him. He's going to learn after the fact. Anyways, as it turns out, what happened was Peter came in and Peter actually, the whole thing went to pot when Peter came in because what happened is Peter's from London and you know what ends up happening is like Peter bought this mob of people from a company, a company that he works for and they all ordered chocolate mousse and cheese, they stuffed the restaurant so nobody even wanted steak to even come in. So the steak eaters who wanted the knives were standing outside in line. So as it turns out, Melissa was right. Her intuition, the 26 point golden gap rating system, told her that Peter was going to come with those people. She knew that Peter was going to come with those people, and therefore no one that wanted steak meat could even enter the restaurant. So therefore, there were there was a surplus of knives. No one wanted the knives, and therefore Melissa ended up making money because of the fact that there was a surplus of the knives, and therefore, if you bet that direction, you got it right, and you made money. How did I know Peter was coming with the mob of the people from the Zulu? I knew because <laughs> because of the fact that I'm friends with Sarah, <laughs> and that's why she told me on the fly, and I took all the information. 
Kitchen and I got it together and I bet against Giles. Giles, though, I'm going to learn, teach him how to make a million dollars with Melissa so he'll make all the money back that he lost tonight at the French restaurant and more. Now do you understand? Completely. I'm going to make a million dollars with Melissa. You are. And thank you everyone and have a great night. Okay, I'm putting that on YouTube because